All right, let's head over to the kitchen now. John is there with Anthony from Oak and Stone on University Parkway. Okay. Always a pleasure having Anthony in the kitchen. Good to see you here, sir. Oh, well, we could go in front of those. Uh, you know, there I didn't go. know if you had a glove on or not. <laughs> so we're talking about a life-changing experience here. Literally, like I said, life-changing. So this is our classic Zap Voodoo chicken sandwich. I love it. Uh, when you eat it, it casts a spell on you. I mean, I can't really say much more. So there what we'll do is we'll start off with some hot olive oil over here that's ready preheated. Okay. We'll get a nice chicken breast that's pounded out pretty thin mm -hmm. and breaded already with some Italian breadcrumbs and some panko breadcrumbs. Nice. We've got that oil going, so that'll okay, start we'll to get a little sear. Okay, we'll let that do its thing. And let's talk a little bit about the, the, this, the inspiration for this sandwich here. Looks like you got some sauces going yeah, on so that are pretty I mean, intense. That's, in all, there's some basic ingredients, but when you mix them all together is what really gives that flavor. So if you start with a insane Cajun-style voodoo potato chip, these, these right here, right? Those, those apples? Those bad boys right there. You so don't remember, mind if I taste test no, one of these do. bad boys, do you? So remember right. growing up when you used to love to put potato chips on your sandwich? That was kind of, kind of the inspiration nice. behind that was to almost feel like a kid again when you're eating something that has so much flavor still. So we do our Cajun style voodoo chips, our signature house-made hot wing butter sauce, mm. really classic shredded lettuce, some nice fresh tomatoes, mm. salt, pepper, and then a little bit of a classic ranch on mm -hmm. there. And then we put it right on our toasty hoagie roll. Oh, so that this sounds is good. This is kind of cooking up, not as fast as we want. Luckily, we already have one that's built out. Yeah, let's so uh, let's take a look at that. You know, I, I, I know that in the restaurant you use these big old gas burner stoves right. that really heat things up quickly, and we, we just don't have that for you here. Yeah, but no. we appreciate you uh, coming in and choosing the recipe. So after it's been cooked up, what do we see? So after it's cooked up, yep. we'll go ahead and we'll toss it with our hot wing butter sauce that we already have tossed on there. Mm -hmm. We'll put some classic American cheese on it and just bring it up to a melt. Well, so you toss it like it's a hot wing or so something like that, right? So we would right. get it in a bowl, right? We would add some sauce to it and just mm -hmm. kind of go ahead and just toss it all together and okay. get nice and lathered up. Nice. Great thing about this sandwich is it pairs amazing with a lot of our beers that we have. And seeing that next week is American Craft Beer Week. I did not know that. Yeah, we're, so we're super excited about that. So six days out of next week, we'll have a local craft brewery in there doing a craft uh, beer takeover. Nice. So Really interesting. So if you're around, you I have a lot of craft beers over there at Oak and Stone. 56. I'm guessing maybe you do. 56 All craft right. beers, 56, my friend. So the best part about this is the first layer of the sandwich. Get some of our Zap chips. There you go. So we'll go ahead and layer some of those up. Once again, you know, one of our signature things is that we are crafty. So we like to just kind of place things on and not really put too much thought into it. What a neat idea. So we'll slap some chips on there. Get that out of the way. Next, our, we'll go over our breaded chicken that's tossed in our hot wing sauce and has some ah. melted American cheese right on top of that. Man. Yum. A good handful, about a cup and a half cup worth of fresh shredded lettuce. Mm. Kind of stack that right on top. Tomatoes. Here's the secret, which everyone knows. You got to add a little salt and pepper to everything. There you go. A little bit of salt, a little pepper really helps brighten up those tomatoes. And then do you add a little bit more of that hot wing sauce? No, we actually kind of try to oh. tone it down a little bit with our house-made butter ranch nice. sauce over here. Well, as you stack this up, cut it up, and put it on a plate, I'll remind everybody the recipe for it's on our website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining link button, and it will take you right there. And I'm going to be taken right there for that sandwich as soon as you cut that up, Anthony. Anthony, thank you very much for coming in oh, today. Our pleasure, thanks for having us, and uh, don't forget to stop by and check us out for American Craft Beer Week. Sounds good. Oak and Stone, many locations to serve you. We'll be right back.